Hello, uh, let us now study about the Palmar arches. If you see the distal end of the ulnar artery and the distal end of the radial artery, after dividing into its branches, forms two arches, one along the superficial plane that is the superficial palmar arch and the other one, this one is the deep palmar arch. Our topic is now superficial palmar arch. If you see, this is the palm of the right side like this, this figure is like this. This is the ulnar side and that is the median side and this one is the thumb. The ulnar artery along with its associated nerve, this is a nerve, passes superficial to this flexor retinaculum lying lateral to the pisiform bone and on crossing the this flexor retinaculum under cover of this muscle which is the palmaris brevis muscle this ulnar artery divides into superficial branch this is the superficial branch and this one is the deep branch this superficial branch of the ulnar artery is forming the superficial palmar arch. This is forming the superficial palmar arch by joining with mainly with the superficial palmar branch of this radial artery. This is a radial artery on the radial side. One of its branch that is the superficial palmar branch usually takes part in the formation of this arch. Not only this, sometimes this arch along its lateral end is completed by either this artery. What is this artery? This artery is arteria princeps pollicis. Or this arch may be formed by joining with this artery. This artery is Arteria radialis indices. Or it, this arch may be completed by joining with one of the branch of the radial artery that is Arteria nervi mediana that means the art a branch which is in which is in running close to the median nerve that we can that also may take part in the formation of this arch and the name of that artery may be is arteria nervi mediana i repeat this superficial palmar arch is formed by the superficial branch of the ulnar artery mainly and on the lateral side it is formed either by superficial palmar branch of the radial artery or by the arteria princeps pollicis of radial artery or by the arteria radialis indices of radial artery or by the arteria nervi mediana of the lateral artery. So, this is that arch, where it is situated, it is at the level of the distal border of the extended thumb. If the thumb is extended like this or extended and abducted, along the distal border of the extended thumb, this arch is located. And through this arch, the branches arise. The branches of the superficial palmar arch are 1, 2, 3, 4, that is 4, 4 palmar digital arteries, 4 palmar digital arteries of which this is the first one, the most med medial one which arises, runs distally to supply the ulnar side of the little finger. The remaining 3 branches form common palmar digital arteries, the remaining three form common palmar digital arteries, these are the remaining three which run distally 
and on reaching the adjoining web spaces between these three fingers, it joins with the palmar metacarpal arteries of deep palmar arch like this. And after joining with this palmar metacarpal arteries of the deep palmar arch, it gives off, each one gives off two proper digital arteries to supply the adjoining sides of this finger. That means this, this one will supply the radial side of the little finger and ulnar side of the ring finger like that. Through this superficial palmar arch, Except for the radial side of the index finger and the thumb, rest adjoining sides of the fingers are supplied. The relations of this superficial palmar arch are, it lies under cover of the palmar aponeurosis, but this arch lies over the long flexor tendons, over the lumbrical muscles, over the digital branches of median nerve and this arch lies at the level of the distal border of the extended thumb. Now this is a deep palmar arch, this one, which is formed by the deep branch of this ulnar artery here and the trunk of the radial artery from lateral side. This forms the deep palmar arch which is at the level of the lower border of the upper border of the extended thumb here. This is at this level, at this portion of the thumb, whereas the superficial palmar arch is at the level of distal border of the thumb. This is all about the arterial supply related to the superficial palmar arch. Thank you.